Hey, what's up guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Nightwing2303.com. The day is day 7 for the 23 days of Jace. And I don't have a lot of pair of Air Jordan 7s. Um, these are pretty much the only two that I own. And for those of you that don't know, the Air Jordan 7 is actually my least favorite. Um, at least out of the, I guess you would say, iconic uh, Air Jordans. I know that some of the older ones after like the 14s, um, 15, 16, 17, 18, and all of those, not really considered iconic um, to most people. And uh, out of all of the Air Jordan 7s, one of my favorite colorways from the original leases are this one right here. Um, this is the Olympic 7. These are supposed to release again this year. This is the For the Love of the Game version. And... I don't plan on picking up the new one just because it's everything's identical except for that that heart that's going to be uh, missing. Um, a few minor color differences and things like that, but nothing too serious. And um, one of the reasons why I really like this shoe here is because of the way it looks. I just think it's real clean. And then the other reason is um, very simple and straightforward. Uh, all you can really say about this shoe here is Dream Team. Um, the the Dream Team just straight beast mode all through the Olympics in 92 destroyed every single opponent that they went up against and um, you had quite possibly a good handful of the greatest players of all time on one squad which is extremely rare so you know, this, this shoe here, I think that every single shoe almost that they wore in the 92 Olympics were just unbelievably awesome, and uh, this, this being one of them. Um, this colorway here, this is the Bordeaux. I know that these are a favorite amongst many. Um, I personally, I don't I don't know. I, I like these in pictures and things like that, but when I got them in person, I was kind of like, eh, they're whatever. I, I don't really wear them, and, um, you know, the quality is okay and all that stuff. One thing that I just noticed today though, because um, I will be playing in a pair of Air Jordan 7s, not sure which one, but um, the originals had a polyurethane midsole and I think that this is Phylon because this is like real soft. So, um, you know, because they don't, they don't feel like a, it doesn't feel like polyurethane at all. Um, it feels more like a, like a Phylon foam. So, um, I think the Air Jordan 7s are actually comfortable, but this is not my favorite um, Air Jordan model. Uh, now, out of the original colorways, again, this is uh, this is probably one of my favorites. Um, the other one that I really do like is the uh, black and charcoal with the red and the purple. Uh, a lot of people call those the Raptors. However, none of the original colorways are my all-time favorite Air Jordan 7. Um, there is one colorway in particular that I am just in love with, and unfortunately I don't own a pair, but my daughter does and it's the flint colorway so she does not fit in these anymore um, this is a size 3c and I, I have all of her uh, all of her baby shoes um, from crib sizes even up until now I think she's in a size 10 now 10c uh, for like to toddlers I believe or something like that big kid or not big kids but like little kids I don't remember what the sizing is but this is my all-time favorite um, right here and back when she was able to wear these, um, she wasn't even able to walk yet. So they're pretty much brand new. And uh, it's got a cool little, it's got a cool little insole in there that's purple with a white jump man. And um, yeah, I just I just really like this colorway. I don't know why. Um, sometimes even if you don't like a design of a shoe it's the colorway that makes the entire thing work and the Air Jordan 7 for me is definitely one of those I was never a big fan of them but when I saw this colorway I was like man those are so clean and unfortunately I never was able to get a pair but um, kid sizes never really sell out so uh, this is this is uh, the, the one of my favorite that I that I actually do have I just unfortunately can't wear it and um, yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it I don't really have any real stories with these um, and for these being so small, the quality is nice. They put nice leather on here. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, I don't really have a story with the Air Jordan 7 other than I just don't really like them too much. I'm not a big fan, but, uh, 
specific colorways do look really nice on this shoe and this is definitely one of them. Now that I think about it, this is real similar to like color blocking to those Carmines which are a favorite of mine as far as like the sixes are concerned so maybe that's why I like them um, with, with the white the white base and then the, the colored inserts here because I don't I don't really feel this whole black and gray thing um, it looks nice but you know it's just not not a favorite of mine so but yeah that's pretty much it pretty simple straightforward this is my favorite colorway of the Air Jordan 7 and unfortunately I just can't wear them so um, they just stay in my room and uh, all that stuff so thank you guys for watching uh, make sure to check out DJ Hess uh, ID Soul Creator as well as Jumpman Bossic they're all on I think day 8 today so um, big shout out to them and uh, until next time guys I'll, I'll probably see you guys again soon uh, tomorrow for uh, day number 8 so have a good one